Panic attacks are really frightening, especially if you don't know what's happening. Like a massive adrenaline rush. Everything in your body just starts charging up. All of your emotions are like intensified, like they're just so much stronger. You don't just feel panicked, you feel so extremely panicked and you don't just feel scared, you feel extremely scared. Fear, it's, fear is like the strongest emotion that you feel. Fear, like in whatever situation you're in, maybe for no reason and then because of what's happening inside your body you're scared of what's happening and you feel like I'm going crazy like maybe I need to go to the hospital like maybe there's something happening inside my body and then you start like worrying about everything that's going on inside of you and that makes the panic even worse to feel like your thoughts are controlling you and you're not in control of your thoughts is a scary place to be the world is full of darkness the world is full of bad people you can't do this. Life's not worth it. It's too hard, so just give up. Think of all the times that you've stuffed up before. There's more darkness than there is light. It's like, yeah, they take over. I'm not in control anymore. Because the thoughts are so loud and so strong and so persistent and they just go round and round. It often leads to me feeling depressed because I've got so tired. Um, like sometimes I feel like I'm like carrying around a big bag with like full of bricks. Even though there's nothing there, like it just feels, feels like a weight. And like I just, sometimes I just don't know what to pray. Like I'll wake up in the morning feeling so horrible. And I'll just be like, Jesus, please, like, please take it. I think when I feel like every part of me wants to give up, I remind myself that I've been here before, I've been there before at breaking point and I've got through it before and life's been really good again and I want to experience that again, I want to experience life being good again. What I would say to somebody that's run out of hope is that you're worth fighting for and that you're important, you really are important and that you need to tell somebody, you need to find somebody who you can tell um, and be honest with about how badly you're struggling, that you're not doing it alone because you don't have to and it's too hard to do alone. The struggle doesn't have to become who you are, it doesn't have to become your identity, like you can live and live well and you can help others and you can get the most out of life and out of every day. There's been times when it's still been really hard and I've kept going and I know that that's not how other people see me, that's not how my friends see me. They don't <coughs> see me as a depressed person or an anxious person. It's not how I'm defined and it's not how you have to be defined either. There's more to you than that. In amongst the mess, when you feel really anxious and frightened and dark, um, God can speak to you in a really personal way and in a way that you need to hear in that moment because he does care and he does want to help you when you reach out to him.